Hi, I'm Will Peterson with Denison Yachting. And today we're on the docks behind our Marina Del Rey office and I'd like to walk you through the all new Dufour 390. On today's sea trial, we were very lucky with good weather. We had clear skies, flat water, and just the right amount of breeze. One of the key features of the 390 is her 13 foot wide beam, which enhances the layout across the board. We first see this midship on both sides, which run back to her very large cockpit. One of the ways the beam enhances the Dufour 390 is in the interior volume. This is much larger than the smaller Dufour 360. In addition to having a great interior design, the salon is also very practical. For example, the salon table on the starboard side folds down to a berth. The real innovation isn't that this turns into a bed, but that you can also walk around on the port side easily. One of the reasons we wanted to do this walkthrough today was to show you how different this particular 390 layout is. In years past, the 390 has come with a two-head layout. This particular 390 only comes with a one-head layout, which makes the master cabin much larger. Because the layout is so central to today's walkthrough, we're gonna start in the aft cabin and work our way forward. With the two cabin layout option, the aft berth becomes very large for this size of sailboat. The stateroom is lit up with a significant side window as well as an overhead hatch and side opening porthole. There is also a double door opening closet for storage along with shelves on all sides. One step forward of the aft berth, we find a traditional L-shaped galley. Appliances in the galley include a propane stove and oven, microwave, double stainless steel sink, and plenty of refrigeration with a top and side loading fridge. Moving to the port side, we find the oversized head and private shower stall. This shower stall is one of the biggest in the Dufour range. Behind the shower, we find access to the deep lazarette storage. This space has a hanging locker and lots of space for sails or other cruising gear. The engine is located centerline between the galley and the head and access is found beneath the stairs. This Dufour 390 comes with the upgraded engine package with a 50 horsepower Volvo Penta with a sail drive and a folding prop. At the base of the companionway stairs, we find this wine cellar, which lifts up out of the floor. On the port side, we find a very long built-in settee that is great for lounging, and it also doubles as the chart table. The chart table itself is integrated into the seating and lifts up and down. On the starboard side, we find an L-shaped dinette, which as I already mentioned, converts into a berth. When you have more guests on board, there's an extra leaf on the port side of the table that lifts up to make seating for six. Forward in the salon is the entertainment center. This includes a 32-inch flat screen television, as well as the upgraded Bose sound package. The last thing I'd like to point out in the salon is how well lit this space is. This is thanks to the large windows overhead and on the sides. Our final stop below decks is the master cabin, which is found all the way forward. Keeping in mind this 390 is the two cabin, one head layout, the forward master is much less cluttered without the second head option. Having wrapped up on in the interior, we're gonna jump overhead and show you the bow. First thing I'd like to point out is the integrated bowsprit. This used to come as an option, but is now standard with the 390. The benefit of this design is that you can have both a furling Genoa and a Code Zero up at the same time, and it also makes for easier anchoring. Just behind the bowsprit, we find our deep anchor locker with a Lumar windlass. One of the great things Dufour has done with upgrading some of the range is integrating these overhead windows throughout the boat. These skylights start at the bow and work their way back over the top and sides of the coach roof. One of the greatest things about Dufour is the versatility of the sail packages. You can order Dufours with either classic full batten main or in-mast furling. You can also choose from self-tacking jib or an overlapping Genoa. In addition, all the models can come with a Code Zero furling spinnaker. This particular 390 comes with a full batten classic main with lazy jacks and a stack pack. 
as well as overlapping Genoa with adjustable car leads and finally a Code Zero. Next, let's make our way into the cockpit, which for this size sailboat is very spacious. Most of this space comes as a result of the angled helm pedestals on either side. This design change allowed for a more open cockpit as well as made the bench seats on port and starboard longer. These bench seats are a great place to lounge or you can convert the cockpit table for an outdoor dining experience. Immediately after the seating area is the starboard helm where we find our engine controls. Some of the other features we find in this area are the chain counter with windlass control, a Raymarine autopilot, and a Raymarine multifunction display. The final space we have to show to you today is the outdoor patio found on the folding swim platform. Here we have a plancha grill, stainless steel sink, and storage for our propane bottle. The 390 is a boat that is designed to be away from the dock, and if you plan to spend time at anchor, her swim platform is the perfect venue to relax. On behalf of Denison Yachting and myself, Will Peterson, I'd like to thank you for joining us on today's walkthrough. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me anytime.